Hey guys, it's Brugas here and in this video I'll talk about where the Goten XP bottlenecks arise. Very very important topic since yeah, we basically need for every hero. Now for the gear you can actually reuse the gear on the different heroes if you get the new hero. But definitely the XP and gold you cannot unlevel one hero and put everything you invest in this hero to your new hero and here comes the first bottleneck is when you get a new hero you cannot actually level it up you have to be very very smart with your xp and your gold to actually progress in watcher of realms i have a lot of uh, new heroes for example currently i have legendary heroes some of my heroes are level one or maybe level it to some point and I definitely try to not level that many uh, epic heroes if I don't actually like these epic heroes. Some epic heroes is even better from a legendary hero. So you have to be very careful with your leveling. And of course this is a bottleneck since there is a big issue that I want to point. And just stamina. Currently you see I have uh, 1000 close to 2000 stamina. But I use my stamina potion because I'm going to go for the gear rights. Currently in the Oracle trial we have gear rights 2 running. And this is one of the gear rights I have biggest progression. I'm on the stage 18. So definitely I'll go and try to be on the first place. At the moment even though I'm on the first place. But still for day to day player who just walk. You can maximum have regenerated 292. And I think here I have some boost from my privilege card that is going to give me 30 maximum stamina. So it's even lower from this. And the regeneration of stamina is very, very slow. So this is something that is going to make everything a bottleneck. Even though that you want to have uh, some gear uh, to go for the gear right farming or maybe for the XP and go to... Uh, and gold resource farming for your new heroes everything is becoming a bottleneck and i want to point that of course if you play every day you're going to get some little boost like uh, this small stamina potion for example or maybe yeah i just get some <laughs> stamina potions left and right but this is a small one it's 10 stamina if i go for example for the xp right uh, I'm going to see that I need 36, 36 uh, energy to actually get this uh, 10,000 um, experience, experience potion. And I think this is very, very high. I mean, <laughs> this, this is something that is going to build as a bottleneck if you want to level up your heroes. Because if you go for the stages, if you go for campaigning, it didn't actually matter that much. And the same for the gold. Okay, gold maybe is 26. Yeah, it's 26. But still, this is a lot of stamina. And this is, yeah, my opinion that is becoming a bottleneck. All these resources. And if you are lucky and you play right. And you get a lot of summoning stones. Currently, I have... I will get 5 summoning stones. From your guild boss, you can get uh, more summoning stones. The level, the five star level heroes is not so strong like a six star heroes. And there is one main reason, and this is the base attack. If you have a five star abomination, for example, um, I'll go maybe for the gear, maybe attributes. If you have a five star abomination, his base attack is going to be lower. All the percentage I have in his gear is going to be applied and is going to provide with less. Um, with less attack bonds this is very important also critical damage is going to go low if your attack bonus basically affecting this this area on your heroes is going to be crucial for you and that's why i think um this is going to be a bottleneck for the gear rights for the experience right for the gold right you just have this 286 or maybe less 292 or maybe less stamina and you have to cover all this area to actually level up and boost your heroes and you can have a lot of heroes basically you, you can have a lot of heroes it's not only these heroes i maybe have like half of the heroes or maybe less from all existing heroes and new and new heroes actually come 
I know one time when you level up your heroes, this is not going to be an issue, but you have to be very smart where you spend your gold and your experience potion. And definitely for the gold, I want to mention that, that leveling one uh, gear part, for example, one ring, just one ring, I think is close to 700,000 gold and 26 energy is a lot for getting 31, if I remember correctly, I think it was 31,000 uh, gold. And I'm on the latest stages, just to mention that, okay, 32,000 gold you're going to get. Uh, of course, you can go for the boosters, but there are not so many boosters. One of the boosters is from your guild shop, you can get this extra gold bonus, or uh, if there is some kind of event, you can go. Currently, I don't remember, is there some kind of event? Where I can buy, okay, the Halloween event should be somewhere here. Um, that also with uh, candies you can get some gold boost. But yeah, I guess I guess this is my point of this view uh, of this video is just to mention that I think the energy is way less for resource right and experience right is just way too big here. Uh, the percent the the energy required to to perform and get this uh this experience from the needs of the normal people and yeah i just wanted to punch point this so i guess this will be for this video guys i tried to make it short if you enjoyed hit one like of course comment below are you struggle with your experience or maybe gold and see you in the next video